Hello my friends, welcome back to another review. It's the end of the month, it's here, it's 1st of June now. So I have to do my May scent of the month uh, with an accompanying review of this fragrance. You'll have to excuse me, uh, I've got a little bit of a head cold and my throat might sound a bit scratchy. The fragrance for May, scent of the month for May, is from Papillon Artisan Perfumes. It's the wonderful Salome, 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 I pronounce it Salome. Um, I'll get into it. I haven't had this for very long. I first tried it uh, late last year from a small sample. I have to say I didn't love it. I didn't really like it a lot the first wear I had, but this was one that I persisted with, thankfully, um, and it's just, it's already in my current top 10 fragrances as per my last video, or one of my last videos. Uh, I just love it, and it's made me want to have a look at the other fragrances in the line that is basically run by artisan perfumer Liz Moores uh, in the UK. I'm getting samples of other ones from from the house that I'm dying to try. The notes look amazing. But let's get into uh, a pretty short review of this. If I had to describe this in a few words, it's uh, all at once spicy, floral, and amalic fragrance. Um, there is this vague, this vague term of uh, vague terminology of vintage vibe about it um, and, and I guess you can only really understand it uh, um, if you are familiar with probably old style classic vintage perfumes but but when you smell it you kind of get what that means because I'm not very familiar with uh, a lot of old style classics but this is something you can imagine being worn um, you know in the early part of the 20th century but let's get on with the actual um, smelling what it smells what I smell opening I'll run the note list below now just with the note list it, ver it varies from site to site like Fragrantica and Parfumo on Papillon's um, Papillon's website um, it only lists uh, from memory, jasmine, carnation, rose, hyrax, uh, and musks. I, I might be missing something, but what I pick up in 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 the opening of this, this is one of those fragrances, okay, where you smell, you literally smell everything at once, and and you do smell. The top, there's some top notes here, mainly the citrus I pick up here is, a, is an orange citrus. Um, now I know Fragrantica lists bitter orange, but there's an orange kind of citrus in, in the opening here that's mixed in with all the other notes. The other, the other things I smell at the beginning as well are animalic notes something that that smells vaguely familiar to maybe um castorium because i've smelled i've smelled this in other fragrances as well um a few minutes later once it starts once those those top notes start to burn out i get uh i get a lot of very indolic florals now ma mainly um ja jasmine uh, and I don't want to describe this in a way that's off-putting, but I, they're, they're like really um, florals that are on the verge of um, on the verge of being of dropping off off their buds. They've, they're not; these are not fresh florals. They're they're beautifully musty and mixed in with some of the animalic notes. Now I also then get uh, a tinge of a tinge of birch tar and then what that creates is this this um like kind of very slight dirty leather 
the thing about this fragrance not even so much about what what you smell is how how it um, behaves on my skin when I spray when I spray this on uh, firstly I'm I'm captivated by what I smell straight away but then as it wears on the skin it feels like you're you're in this like swirl of aroma like it's like these little uh, microclimates traveling around the planet that is your that is your body and it's a, just a really nice very sensual experience wearing this it is funny though because um, the very first time I tried this fragrance I thought I thought it was very animalic uh, and for some reason now when I when I spray this really all I pick up is uh, um, really endolic florals which which is animal you know like an animalic kind of scent in itself and gorgeous spicy um, probably carnation which and this right this fragrance has made me um, interested in exploring carnation as a note uh, even more uh, so the, so it's like spicy indolic florals and and you know the animalics are there in the background but never in any way for me challenging this is just a lush a lush creamy uh, spicy fragrance that you know is is a real mood fragrance uh, but I, I'm I, I really wish I was more like this but I love wearing fragrances I love whenever I want whether it's just lazing around in jeans on the weekend uh, I have worn this to the office at work it doesn't matter it, but I always always feel um, sensual wearing this this fragrance it always makes me feel good and comforted uh, and loving myself <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful fragrance Papillon Artisan perfumes you should check them out if you haven't get some samples uh, this is my first one and it certainly will not be my last one Salome scent of the month for May